Also this morning, the Thurston County Sheriff is talking to King Five after his second serious crash in less than two years. A suspected drunk driver T-boned the sheriff this past weekend, totaling his patrol car. The sheriff and his passenger are both okay. The woman who hit him is behind bars. King Five's Maddie White talked to him about the frightening moments and why he's calling for changes to state laws. My neck is real tight and uh, I kind of got to like do the robot thing to turn and greet people. A little sore, but happy to be alive. Sheriff Derek Sanders says just after midnight early Sunday, he was driving in Olympia with a prospective employee in the front seat of his patrol car. I saw a car approaching. I didn't even have a chance to look at my radar to see how fast it was going. Um, it was in the left lane as well, facing me. And then it jumped from their left lane across the double turn lane and into my into my lane head on. And I'm kind of like, what are we doing here? Because we're at the intersection. And then it tried to like dive through the flashing yellow um, yield sign to get into the bar parking lot. As they both swerved, Sanders says she T-boned him. He says the suspect initially drove away, but that a canine later found her hiding in the bushes. He says she was uninjured, but that she was arrested for hit and run and DUI. I was able to actually see who she was, was, yeah, can't talk straight, can't stand straight. Um, not even sure she knows what state she's in. Sanders was hospitalized, but says he only has minor injuries. I think the big thing that I'm looking for, I guess, is I'm, I'm kind of looking towards our, our state government. State data shows a persistent pattern of alcohol-related crashes on our roads. Our roads, they just don't feel safe right now. So far this year in Washington, 1,342 people have gotten hurt or killed in crashes involving alcohol, the Department of Transportation reports. In both the prior couple years, that number exceeded 2,500 a year. I am one small victim in a pile of victims um, that I think are kind of wondering, like, what's the next step? We have hardly any police officers. Believe it or not, this was the second bad crash the elected leader has been in recently. In spring of last year, his patrol car collided with a pickup truck in Yelm. They'll be at the intersection of Lawrence Lake and 153rd. Derek, can you hear me? It's Kevin. Derek, I need you to stay with me, Derek. I'm trying to figure out if I'm lucky or unlucky. Uh, it is the second time, but I've walked away both times. Um, okay, and a lot of people can't say that, so. Maddie White, King 5 News. Right now in Washington, DUIs are generally classified as gross misdemeanors, but starting in 2026, a state law will go into effect that aims to make it easier for prosecutors to charge someone with a felony for a DUI.